Hey everybody, I'm here to talk about my skin regimen. Somebody asked me about my skin regimen. I don't really have a skin regimen, but I'll show you some of the products that I use. For most of my life, my skin has been really oily, so I didn't really do much to it. I just kept it clean. I barely ever wore moisturizer, I, but now that I'm older, my skin is dry, dry, dry. It's something that I have to constantly worry about. And so what I do, as you see, I have makeup on now. And when I wanna wash the makeup off, I usually go for, a lot of my products are either Neutrogena or Cetaphil. And this, this is actually an empty. This is my second bottle of this and I'm about to replace it. This stuff right here is really great for removing makeup, especially stubborn eye makeup, waterproof mascara. Put a little bit of it on a cotton swab. I use press it on the eye and just hold it there for a little while. Same with the other eye. Of course, we're in a pandemic. I'm not supposed to touch my face, but I haven't been anywhere. I've been in this house all day. But yeah, you take this, you just take everything, loosen it up, and once you wipe everything off with a cotton ball, you get it all gone. And I, this is a, um, this lipstick also comes off. This lipstick is one of those, what do they call it? The matte lipsticks that, you know, stay on. But anyway, once you do that, I wash it with this stuff right here. I usually, it's a toss up between whether I use the daily facial or the gentle facial. Now, the maddening thing about this is that the daily facial and the gentle facial come in a bottle. They look almost identical. And I can't tell you how many times I've made a mistake and meant to buy one and ended up buying the other one. This one is the daily facial, and the daily facial is like a clear liquid gel. It has a mild sudsing action to it. It's something that you would use when your skin is oily. And this seems to be the best to use when you're trying to get rid of makeup. The other one is a creamy texture, like a translucent um, creamy texture. Everybody talks real trash about that one, but I kind of like it too, because now that I'm older, when my skin is acting drier, especially when I don't have makeup on, it's a nice little cleanser. You just put it on, wet your face, put it on, and then tissue it off and rinse. And it seems like this is just gentle. It's just what you need. It doesn't strip you out. It doesn't take away any of the oils that I need on my face. So it's either this one or the gentle cleanser, depending on what I think I need on my face. So that's how I cleanse it. Okay, and then after I cleanse it, there's this stuff here that everybody is talking about. This is Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and this is a water gel. Is that what it's called? I gotta put my old lady glasses on so I can see what this is. Nope, it's gel cream. This is extra dry gel cream. There are two types of this moisturizer out there. Actually three, another one has sunscreen and the other one is just a gel. I wouldn't use those because they have fragrance in them. And that's one thing I'm trying to avoid is fragrances. But this is a fragrance free formula. Looks just like this. This is almost empty too. And this is also my second bottle of this. I've actually bought this a couple of times and will buy it again. It's really good stuff. What this does is it sort of absorbs moisture from the air. It's all, you know, and it just keeps moisture. It, it keeps your moisture from es escaping from your face. So there are two ways to moisturize your face. You have one that just does moisture, and that's water, to have the water in your face and not have that trans-epidermal water loss. And then there's another type of thing, and it's called um, uh, lubricating your skin. 
A lubricant is more of an oil-based, and that's what you would do to put over this in order to keep your skin moisturized. So this softens during the day. I use this. This is my altruist sunscreen. I love this stuff. Oh my God. This stuff hails from Germany and it is made by this guy. It's just one of these hobbies that he took up to try to make a sunscreen that everybody can use. It's a sunscreen that doesn't feel like a sunscreen. It's just a moisturizing cream. And it is so amazing. It's really amazing. And what's good about this, it's called Altruist because it basically, it melts into the skin, does not leave any white cast at all. Oh, it's so moisturizing. And it really protects. Proceeds from the sale of this go to help a... Um, an organization that um, shelters um, children in Africa with albinism. So this is really a wonderful, wonderful product. I really like that. So that's what I would do during the day. At night, again, over this product here, this is what I would use if I can figure out where it is. It's basically Oh, is it another Cetaphil product? Gosh, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Let me just grab it. All right. This, another Cetaphil product. This is a moisturizing cream. Now, it's you can use it everywhere. You use it on your body, but you can use it on your face as well. It's fragrance-free really good stuff. I really enjoy this. I use it everywhere. But the face at night, this really helps. And that is my regime. I got your day thing. And then there's another one. Honorable mention. This sunscreen here. This is a sunscreen that comes from Mata Japan. And it's made by a company called Hada Labo. It is a sunscreen that's sort of like a um, a light sunscreen. This is what I would use during the summer when the heavier sunscreen is too much for my skin in the heat. So this is something that works really well for me in the summertime. As you can see, I use a lot of this too. Yeah, this is almost out. I might end up having to get rid of this because by the time the summer comes, you won't be, it will be expired. The thing with these products, they don't have an expiration date on them. But generally when you're doing products like these, the way they work is you, they expire a year after you open them. So as soon as you open it, you should mark down the year or the day that you open it and know that a year from that day, this goes right in the trash. And apparent, unfortunately, that's what's going to have to happen to this because I purchased this a year ago last summer. So I'm not going to be able to use it again in the summer, so I'll have to get it again. And those are my skincare products. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. I hope you're having a great day, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.